Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rachel Ballinger. I test things so you don't have to. And today, I'm gonna test kitchen products from Wish. Wish is a terrible company. They don't produce a single high quality product. But for some reason, people keep shopping there. So I'm here to tell you, don't. And I'll prove to you why with kitchen things. Ready? Let's go. First product is this peeler that when you peel, all of the peelings go into the thing. Now this would be great because, well, one, we're gonna start with carrot. I give my dogs shredded carrots uh, daily because vegetables, fresh vegetables are good for them. So I would love to just buy carrots and shred them, but that's a mess. I'm finding every excuse to not do that. It's supposed to save all the sh sh shreds? Yes, that's the word, in the thingy. And then I would just dump it on their food. So let's see if this works. Shall we? Take that little part off, because organic carrots, too much. Ready? Wait, it worked! This is, like, little tiny little bits are happening, but, oh! <laughs> I mean, that just pops right off. All right, let's try this again. You can just hang out here, and begin. Look at this! Look at this! Look at it! Look at, okay, well, then that came off, but that's fine. Look at this, look at this, okay. Maybe it's just getting a little full. And then I have, you have shredded carrots! You have it! You've gone done, did it! All right, so I didn't think that product was gonna work and then that product worked. Do you need this? Not even a little bit, no. No one needs this. Maybe if you, when you're peeling stuff and you just hate that everything gets everywhere, then maybe this product is for you. Also, I've noticed this is very small. I think it's smaller than a normal. I'm making that up. Let me get a normal one. <laughs> Look at the size difference. So this would be better for a potato, something a little thicker. This, carrots, thinner. So whether you're trying to save all your shreds for your dogs, or you just don't like them spraying everywhere, this could be a product for you. All right, well, I was here to prove wish wrong, but that one was fine. All right, next product. No! Next product. It's not this knife. This knife is sharp. The next product, I think I've tested this before, but I think I'm better in the kitchen now. So this is a finger guard. So you don't slice your fingers off. No. Yes. No. No. Yes. So we're gonna chop up this cucumber, see if I cut myself. <laughs> what a experiment. Ready? Here we go. I feel like this is actually pretty I'm decent. I feel safe. I feel good. I think that this is actually something I should use because I can't believe I've gone 31 years without slicing my finger off. How do professional chefs go? They're like, I did it right. <laughs> okay, so wish to Rachel Zero. But how about my fingers? I didn't need that part. This product, simple, holy. This is a bell pepper corer. I'm looking at the instructions on Wish right now because I wanted to get this right, all right? There's still so much in it. Oh, Emily is shocked. <laughs> Emily really wanted that to work. That's how much it got out. So here's the middle. So there's still some left. Okay, so there's still some stuff left in there, but for the majority of the part, for the majority of, what am I trying to say? But it got the majority out. Oh, like, is this for like when you want to stuff a bell pepper? Like you put cheese and stuff in it and like you bake it and like, I think that's a thing people do. That seems Pinteresty. This, I'm assuming that's what it's for. Cause I'm like, why would you not just cut it like a human being? And then, you know, that would do it. Dang it, this worked. Wish three, Rachel zero. I'm upset. But like, I'm happy it's working and these are all really cheap things and I love a good gadget, but like that worked and now I can stuff a bell pepper. Gosh darn, next product. <laughs> all right, now I feel like I'm gonna start winning, which is sad because then I'm losing because I just paid for products that don't work. But this is to make heart-shaped eggs. Okay, and then though, I'm gonna flip them using this. It's said to flip, you can use this to flip eggs. I'm not believing either of these products. You can't flip an egg. There's a picture specifically for eggs. I can understand flipping a burger. I get that. But it said I could flip eggs. I'm gonna win this round, just you wait. So, uh, we have to do this on the back burner because if you watch my vlog channel, you know I'm having issues with my stove where all of the things, oh, you're not gonna do it now? I think we're good. 
they click like that. So I'm having a debacle. Follow my vlog channel to know all of my debacles with my stove. I'm angry. Okay, let's try the thingies. Put a little oil down. Boop, boop, boop. So here's the thing. I know this isn't gonna work. It's not silicone on the bottom. Like it's just, the egg is gonna seep through this. All right, but we're gonna fry an egg and uh, we're gonna see how it goes. Okay, it's seeping through a little bit. How long do I have to wait? My heart's bleeding. My heart's bleeding. Because Abby's out of town. When am I allowed to flip it? Put a little salt on it. I'm eating this. A little salt and pepper on this business. Oh, that was too much salt. Back in your hole. Go back in your hole! Do you think I'm ready to flip it? Because I have to be able to take this off. What am I supposed to do? Because I have to flip it, but it's in a thing. Is it stuck to the thing? Yeah, it's stuck to the thing. Are you supposed to spray the thing? Probably. Hold on, I have an idea. Oh my god, it is fully stuck. Definitely was supposed to spray that. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> so I mean, it's technically working. I just didn't spray the thing. I can't believe this worked. I can't believe this worked. One second. And the spatula freaking works too. How is every single product working? I'm angry. I'm upset. That's cute and it's annoying. It wasn't perfectly hearted. Like it, it's a messed up heart, but that kind of makes it cuter. Since when do any of my products in any of my videos, how, when do they all work? When do Wish products work? And since when can I do anything in the kitchen? How is it? It's like supposed to be like a, tri a trifecta of terribleness. And then all of a sudden it's perfect? I don't, I don't quite know what to do with my own body or existence or soul. It's like everything I thought has just like been a complete lie. I need a potato. I have one product. I have one product left to fail me. This is it. I just need this to fail me and I've been reassured in my life. So this is to make your potatoes, those Chris cut types into French fries. Is this a yam? It's a potato. What's a yam? What's a yam? <laughs> yam. It's a potato. Okay. Well, I got you another one in case you didn't like that one. <laughs> yeah, this is a potato. Or is this a yellow yam? What's a yam? Cut this in half. So I don't actually think it's gonna cut like a potato because it's <gasps> a yam. I have one job. <laughs> so you go up one way, hold on. You have to start it off. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna cut because uh, it's a yam. <laughs> okay, so you do that and then you turn it at 90 degrees, so you have that cut, right? And you turn it 90 degrees and cut again, and lo and behold, we have crisp cut fries. Every single product worked. That worked. Fry that up, don't eat it, it's a yam. Fry that up. <gasps> if this was a russet potato, then you would have french fries. I mean, you could do it with this and you'd have sweet potato fries. So this works, you just keep turning it 90 degrees and you have, you have french fries. That is really cool. Wow, all right. <laughs> Started my oven. I'm a little thrown, I'm a little thrown. Every single product here today worked. We tested six of them and they worked and I'm confused. This just goes to show, you don't know everything in life. You may think you're the smartest person in the room and if you do, that probably makes you the dumbest. Life is always gonna surprise you. Nothing is predictable. Especially not yams. Especially <laughs> Emily learned something new here today, that there is a difference between a yam and a potato. That's fine, there are sweet potato fries. Uh, I was just a little confused when this was thrown at me, and not a russet potato, as we clarified when she left the house. I'm a whole bundle of emotions at the moment. You can find any of these on Wish. I just typed in kitchen gadgets. I love you guys. Please subscribe to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. Like this video if you liked it. Uh, I test products so you don't have to, because usually they suck, but this time around they didn't. Mind blown. Uh, please check out my blog channel and my podcast channel. Uh, remember, nothing's real and... <laughs>
We'll get through it together. I'm gonna look at it positively. I had a bunch of new cool gadgets and I didn't waste my money. That's it. Perfect. Okay, I love you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.